Is too much of a good thing bad? In most cases, yes. We have oversized the holes for our glue and bolts, and we're gonna find out if too much epoxy is bad for our climbing bolts. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinx, and welcome to the middle of nowhere where we are testing bolts. And in this episode, we are gonna talk about too much glue, specifically epoxy. If you guys wanna see vinyl ester, that'll have to be a separate episode. When I was learning how to glue in, I was told that too much was a bad thing and that the epoxy is very much like plastic and it'll, it's brittle and it'll crack and the bolt will come out. You typically want to drill the hole for the bolt that you're doing close to the size of the bolt. In this case, this is a 10 millimeter solid leg bolt from boltproducts.com and you can use a 12 millimeter or a half inch, 12.7 millimeter, hole for this. That's not too much glue. This is a Healy fix and this is great for 3 8 holes. Now, you technically don't wanna go bigger because that's just gonna suck up a lot more glue, but sometimes there are situations you are either stuck using a bigger hole or you don't have any more of the small drill bits it's never happened to us. It also could be because of a trick we're gonna show you later on fixing mistakes. So there are plenty of reasons that shouldn't exist why this will happen. So we're gonna find out if it's dangerous. So here we are gonna test in shear our Fix Healy bolt. And you can see that it is a lot of space around the bolt. And this is the skinniest glue in bolt we have for the biggest 5 8 inch bit we have. So this is a great test that we're gonna do. So this is the hydraulic we have that we're gonna be pulling on that bolt. We have this to keep the hydraulic from flying when the bolt comes out. And we have that side anchored to that rock so we can pull and snap things in our dynamometer. Uh, we are going to turn this around and pull bolts in tension or straight out. Come over here and I'll show you what I got. So here in tension, we are going to also pull the fixed Healy bolts. We're gonna kind of lift this up with a little pebble to make sure it's centered and then pull straight out. These bolts up here are for another episode, so be sure to subscribe to see that. And these are Simpson Strong Tie Titan HD concrete screws, which is our workhorse for temporary anchors to hold our hydraulic. Hi, I'm Bobby. Um, we're going to talk about a method to fix mistakes when you are replacing bolts. It doesn't always go well um, when you're removing bolts. Sometimes uh, things break, you can't um, totally reuse the same hole. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little trick and then we're going to test it. If it doesn't test well, ignore this trick. What's this device, Bobby? So this is yet another bolt remover. These are machined by a climber uh, specifically for this purpose of removing bolts. So sometimes you can't get the whole bolt out of the hole. Could be a lot of reasons for that. Too rusty to come out. Um, part of it came out and there's still some left in the hole. So in an effort to leave less trace, we don't wanna just drill another hole in another location. We want to try to, to keep it all together. So I'm going to snap this bolt and then we'll show you a trick for doing that. Oof, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap, literally. So there is a bolt still in there. So that's the part that came out. You can see the, the metal is elongated a bit before it snapped. And it snapped at the weakest part of the bolt right before the cone expands. So the cone is down there and you would either have to drill it out or... Uh, do this new little trick. <laughs> or do this new little trick, okay. So one method would be to just take your uh, rotary hammer drill and a bit you don't like and just drill until you've just removed all the metal. And that's going to take a while. It's going to heat your bit up uh, really hot. And there's no guarantee that you go all the way through. It'll eat up batteries. Uh, what's the drill bit? Which one do you use? Since I have them with me, I just use a masonry bit, a SDS bit with a, a carbide tip. A masonry bit will drill through the cone? Yeah, I mean, it takes a while. 
Okay. Um, that carbide's really hard. I don't think you could use a metal cutting bit because as soon as you touch the rock, destroy I think it's going it. to destroy it. So I learned this trick, surfing the forums on Mountain Project. Spend a lot of time doing that. A lot of good resources there. And where else is this trick now written? I think it's in the Bolting Bible. Go check that out. What's the trick, Bobby? So what we're going to do is take our rotary hammer drill and drill right next to this hole. We are going to try to avoid hitting the existing hole and the metal that's in there, um, but it, as close as we can. And then we will uh, fill it with glue and put the bolt on top, our glue in bolt right on top of that and hide it. Okay, so we can see the bolt next to this new hole. Now some bolts you can notch, sometimes you can notch this, which means you can drill here and over so it actually sits a little bit lower than the rock, leaving this part still exposed so the rope is not rubbing the rock. But either way, that hole is still covered by this and it doesn't look like you've just Swiss cheese the rock, leaving less trace. Here at Bolt Busters, we like to do three of whatever we do. So Bobby is now going to snap another bolt, drill another hole, and then we will glue all this. And then we have a, a third hole over here that we're leaving empty. We'll probably put something in there so the glue doesn't fill that up. Um, and that's to simulate, say, there was a rusty bolt in there and, the, and it totally rusted, worst case scenario, and it, it's just dust in that hole after 200 years. Nice. Able to finish this one nicely. Uh, you can see the bolt in there. It's just touching. Um, this one did not do so well. It got too close and drifted into that hole and then was binding like crazy. I ended up being able to uh, pull the sleeve out, but the bottom of the bolt is still down there. And this bit was just binding, 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 binding. You can see got really hot. So we decided to drill another hole behind it um, because we're still able to camouflage that original hole with this placement. And what's uh, Wilson doing over here? This is to simulate in a long time, the remaining rusty bolt just totally disintegrating. There being nothing structural in there. <laughs> we don't want it. We don't want this to fill up with glue. And then we'll cover that non-filled hole like that. So we're gonna have this full, full, full of epoxy. This has half epoxy, half bolt, and this has only epoxy in the hole for the bolt. What do you think's gonna happen? Based on some testing done by our friend Jim Titt over in Germany, uh, they will break full strength. So we're using liquid rock 500 here. I squirted some out into a Mickey Mouse to make sure that this is going to harden. If this hardens, that hardened. Let's pull out our next one. And the idea is to get this everywhere. Everywhere inside of the hole. You don't want air bubbles. Twist when you enter. This is so much movement. We'll just use some pine needles. This is gonna be my lifter upper. And if anybody comments that that's gonna compromise our test, then it'll help the algorithm. Not my finest work, but it's coming out tomorrow. So much glue. I'm sinking. Wow, you can like tilt this thing. Welcome to tomorrow. It's been about 16 hours and it was pretty nice yesterday. So we feel these are fully cured enough. We can make a t-shirt that says that. And uh, that is ready to be pulled. So let's do it. All right, so look at the glue here. I mean, it crushes it. I mean, you're pulling 31 kilonewtons against it. That's what I would kind of expect, but it didn't compromise the strength. So this is one of the strongest results we've gotten with these Healy bolts. There's a bolt in there and that's pretty consistent results. 
we did blow this one out and yes it pushes against the epoxy but it still holds that's good to know let's pull this one all right so that glue i could hear crunching let's see if we can see the bolt here yeah oh it moves it all right that sure is interesting but we are getting some pretty decent results All right, so we can see here, this this happens every time you have excess on the top, which is why we thought too much would be a bad thing. But you can see there's a lot of glue still doing its thing in there. That looks pretty normal. And that's a pretty high result. What do you think, Bobby? Wood whip. Ooh, I am pretty impressed with this method at 50.86. This was the hole, screwed up hole, third hole. I'm so happy right now. Hey look, the Dean Potter. Whoa, huge result difference. Just kidding. Well, there are some consistent results for you. This is more consistent than my ex-girlfriend. Which ex-girlfriend are you talking about? <laughs> All jokes aside that keep me single, uh, we did not notice any difference in epoxy if you use too much. We don't know if this will happen the same with vinyl ester, AC100 glue, or crappy polyester glue, which you should not use. We basically really tried to screw this up and we couldn't. I am pretty excited about the results where we have the other old hole underneath the eye of the next glue and bolt, um, because we may or may not have done that in the past. Sure nice to know it worked. I do like the idea of leaving less trace and being able to hide one inside the other is nice for that. Put in the comments below if you think that's still sketch, even though we just showed you it's not and tell us if you want to see us do this in polyester or vinyl ester because that was a lot of work for basically nothing thanks for watching if you made it to the end you win a free subscription to this channel hit the subscribe button cheers